So let's clear some obvious ones out of the way, okay? Descartes is not trying to answer questions about, you know, the nature of reality, you know, what it means to exist, right? We looked at Thales, Anaximander, Anaximander, all those philosophers, all the way through the Sippus of Democritus, they were concerned with questions about what it means to exist. Hmm? Descartes not doing that. Yes, he questions his own existence, <laughs> you know, he brings it into doubt, but he's not asking about the nature of existence. He's also not talking about truth, right? Lysippus, not Lysippus, uh, uh, Gorgias and Protagoras were asking questions about the nature of truth. Hmm? Um, you know, what, what truth is going to be? Protagoras says, whatever you believe it to be. Gorgias says, well, there is no truth. <laughs> uh, Descartes not asking questions about the nature of truth uh, you know, or what makes something true or false. So he's not doing metaphysics. He's not doing... You know, even strictly speaking, we talk about that nature of truth is still kind of metaphysics, right? He's not doing metaphysics in any way. Rather, he's asking questions about knowledge, right? Remember his conclusion. Think about his conclusion, all right? His conclusion is roughly something like, you may know that which you can believe with certainty, right? Without doubt, right? Well, that answers the question, what is knowledge? His arguments all revolve around knowledge. You know, he brings across, he brings, he mentions you know, extraordinary scenarios with evil geniuses and things like this. But that he's not seriously trying to say, oh, we live in the matrix or we live in the delusion. He's not trying to do that at all. He's merely saying, look, if we believe that we live in a physical world and that our senses tell the truth, how do we know that, right? What's knowledge? So the question he's asking is, what is knowledge? Right, that's his question. His answer is that which you can know with absolute certainty, that which you can know or believe without any doubt whatsoever. Right? Not believe with without reasonable doubt, without any doubt. I mean, think of all the fantastic and weird scenarios that uh, that you know, could be happening right now. So you have to be able to rule those out in order to know that you're sitting in your room watching a computer or that you're sitting somewhere looking at your phone. You have to be able to roll out all these weird scenarios in order to know that. Knowledge is what you believe with certainty.